When it comes to studio drum legends, there's no way around J.R. Robinson. Let's take a look at what makes him sound so good. Art of Drumming is not just a YouTube channel, but also a free platform where you can find numerous drum-related courses filmed by major international artists. Head on over and join our growing community. John Robinson, or JR as he's known professionally, is undoubtedly one of the most recorded drummers of all time. He's especially well known for his work with producer Quincy Jones in the 70s and 80s and has played on more than 50 Grammy-winning songs. Artists he worked with during that era include Michael Jackson, Chaka Khan, Madonna, Whitney Houston, Lionel Richie, and Steve Winwood. His sound and feel is very unique, making him a reliable session drummer who brings his own personality to the table while still being able to adapt to the many different artists he worked with. First, let's focus on the song you heard in the intro, Rock With You by Michael Jackson. You gotta feel that heat, and we can ride the boogie. Although JR sounds very different in all of the songs he played on, he often uses similar drums and cymbals. While today he uses Pisces cymbals and DW drums, he has also played Yamaha drums and Zildjian cymbals for a long time. So we looked at our collection and decided to go with mostly Gretsch drums and Zildjian cymbals. JR often uses a 24 inch bass drum, so we picked our 24 inch PDP concept bass drum and fitted a Remo controlled sound clear batter head. Its single ply construction and center dot gives it a mid-range attack and was common back in 1979. As far as the rezo head goes, Pascal cut a large center hole in one of the stock power stroke heads of this drum. Both heads are tuned medium low and a blanket inside the shell shortens the sustain to a minimum while also controlling overtones. Captured with an M201 inside the drum and an MC740 in front of the rezo head, here's our Rock With You bass drum sound. JR often uses wood snares, so we picked a 14 by 6.5 PDP concept maple snare. It features wood hoops, making the drum a perfect choice for backbeats without hitting rim shots. Pascal fitted a Remo Ambassador coated batter head and tuned it medium low. As the snare sound itself in the song is pretty dry, adding some paper handkerchiefs with some tape eliminates the ringing of the head while focusing the fundamental pitch of the drum. Miked with an SM57 on top and an M201 on the bottom, this is our Rock With You snare drum sound. For the toms, we went with 12, 13, 16 and 18 inch toms from our Gretsch Renown kit. They are tuned medium, and fitted with clear Remo pinstripe heads. The built-in dampening of these heads make any additional muffling obsolete. Capturing them with M201s gives them a present, relatively open sound, yet with focus and attack. Here's our tom sound. To complete the kit, we added 15 inch new beat hi hats, a 20 inch A medium thin crash, an 18 inch medium thin crash, a 21 inch K sweet ride, and a 22 inch swish knocker. This China like symbol with rivets can be used as an auxiliary ride symbol like JR often does. We mic the hi hat with an MC950 and used two M90 Pro X's as overheads. Also, we used an M201 as a room mic. Now, with everything prepared, here's Pascal's take on Rock With You.
of the songs JR is most famous for is Ain't Nobody by Rufus and Chaka Khan. Listen to this drum machine like yet funky drum beat. The song's highly syncopated groove is actually pretty hard to play and is a great example for just how effortlessly JR came up with it in the recording session. To get close to this sound, Pascal detuned the snare a bit and redid the mix. Here's our Ain't Nobody snare. Now let's listen to a short excerpt of Pascal's take on this song. Since JR played on so many other famous songs, we thought we'd add a little medley of three other hits he played on, including We Are the World from 1985, which was produced by Quincy Jones, All Night Long by Lionel Richie from 1983, and I'm So Excited by the Pointer Sisters from 1982. This also shows how busy this man was during this time. Now sit back and enjoy Pascal's little medley. If you're interested in the audio mixing process of our J.R. Robinson recreation, head on over to artofdrumming.com where Pascal will show you everything he did to get as close as possible to the original mixes of the songs in this video. It's all available for free. Now tell us which song has the most interesting sound or drum part in your opinion and feel free to voice what drum sounds we should take on next. Post it down in the comments, subscribe for more content like this and keep an eye out for many more recreation videos in the future as we have a lot of them in the pipeline.